I'm David Allen. Welcome to the Not Bad series. Today we're having a look at four-wheel drive recovery equipment that you should carry on a four-wheel drive wilderness adventure. I'm going to show you what I carry. Some people carry more, so this should be a minimum you should have on board for any remote four-wheel driving. So let's see what we've got. First of all, a snatch strap, and these should be rated for the weight of your vehicle. Even a couple of these is not a bad idea. You need a roll of newspaper or a magazine to allow you to join two snatch straps together. You should never join them with a, a shackle or anything heavy like that in, the case of, in case it becomes an airborne projectile. A tree protector to protect any trees. It also allows you to connect to the front two recovery points. So you're distributing the load across uh, both uh, recovery points, assuming you've got two. If you've got a winch, you'll need a dampener, and it's actually a good idea to use a dampener on a snatch strap as well. Uh, three bow shackles, uh, which should be rated at three and a half tonne. Some gloves, protect the hands. Uh, this is my solution for a rear recovery point, which is a tow bar fitting. Very simple way to do the rear recovery point. A tyre gauge, you're invariably letting air out and putting air back in your tyre, so good tyre gauge uh, is a must. I carry a small pick and mattock and an axe, a small bow saw. Also carry a long handled shovel. These are much easier on the back if you're doing a lot of digging than uh, the small fold up versions. These can be stowed on uh, shovel holders on your roof rack. Uh, in here I've got a tarp for putting over the front of the car for doing a deep uh, river crossing where the water's deeper than the wading depth of your vehicle. There is a separate not bad episode on uh, how to make a DIY uh, tarp for such uh, river crossings. Uh, you need a base to put under your jack if you're on soft ground. I carry a couple of those because I've got a lift kit. Um, Max tracks, um, they're very good. Um, I don't always carry those with them on a group in a group, but on my own, I'll probably throw those on board. If you've got a winch, you'll need a winch extension strap. Uh, this is not elastic like a snatch and strap, it's a static strap. And if you've got a winch, you'll also need a snatch block. So there you have it. That's the minimum uh, recovery equipment you should have on board for a uh, remote wilderness adventure. And remember, your adventure begins the moment you decide to go. Not bad.